Hi Cancer, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot uh, on YouTube and Buddy Advice on Facebook. And if you are a new viewer, welcome to the channel. And if you are a Cyber Angel, then welcome back my darling. And thank you very much for your faithful following. I do appreciate it. And uh, if you, uh, the new viewers, if you would like to become a Cyber Angel, then join us in the live sessions. And you'll get your wings. Then you'll be one of our cyber angels or cyber babes. You can find more information below this video, um, like email address and the website. And also in the corner just there, there will be a white dot. If you click on that, then it will take you through to charliesangeltarot.com. And there you can find updates, uh, information, reviews, and also in the playlists on YouTube. I've made uh, I've made a review on this deck, the House of Shadows, by Monica Bo uh, Bodersky, and she's an artist and a card maker, or an uh, an author of tarot cards and oracle cards, and this is uh, also uh, to do with the bats. I've lost my little bat because I've also got a pendant from the bats, and every do uh, every deck that she sells um, goes to the bat foundation and there goes a dollar and this is what they look like and if you like the Adams family then you will like this quirky uh, deck sense of humor this is Lenemann and this is her interpretation of the Lenemann so if you would like to have a look at more pictures then go to the review and I've just done it a couple of days ago I'm also using a crystal ball and I'm going to do a first a reading with the crystal ball and then I will be doing the cards uh, the enchanted dream tarot uh, the house of shadows Lenemann Metatron and I've had so many beautiful reactions on my reviews thank you very much and also the favorite the angel feather and uh, this is um, a smoky quartz crystal and I'm just showing you a bit perhaps you might see something um, in the crystal ball and this comes from the Himalayas. I was spoiled by, by my sister for receiving this. And I'm going to start with your reading cancer. And even I'm amazed how the crystal ball resonates with the cards. I've got the cards closed. I've got no cards here telling me what to do. And it's just purely uh, all coming from the crystal ball. It's amazing. It, I'm even amazed. So let's get started. I'm going to clean the crystal ball first um, because I've used it for Gemini. So I want to get their energy out of it. Remember this is a general reading and um, if you if it doesn't resonate with you then please um, have a look at your moon sign or your uh, rising sign now yesterday I had the Sun today it's really dark so it won't be sparkling too much but I had the Sun blinds down anyway but I'm seeing a dip I'm seeing that some of you might be in a dip um, and your mind is full of ideas um, and I also see a corner a corner so something is just around the corner perhaps a new beginning a promotion perhaps listen to your intuition my darling and I also see there might be some sadness with regards to a friendship there, there was a hole there, I feel there is a void there was a hole, a void something, it wasn't together it 
something was not together. Yesterday I saw so many beautiful things. Hearts and everything. But with you I see there is also a lot of mist and it's like if it's falling down. Uh, perhaps snow. Are you thinking of going to uh, the ski resort? Your mind is going round and round and round. I feel as if you are sad or depressed and I think this could be of that void. There is a black side here and it's uh, in a point so perhaps that's a triangle something in a triangle perhaps there was a third party in a friendship or a relationship that you didn't know about and you've broken this friendship or relationship it was murky and cloudy and now you can see the light that it will take some time before you can get over it and I also see that you are going for a small break you are going to leave everything for what it is you don't isolate yourself but you feel like you want to isolate yourself you want to go away there is something new on the horizon because I can see sparkles but it's not very clear it's very it's like if I put my finger here I can't see the finger or the color of my hand um, through the crystal but I do see um, sunlight it looks like beams sunbeams or rays in the future it's it's it won't be very far off though and it's coming to fruition it's something is going coming round going round so I think I get the word karma 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 is coming towards you if you've done good then you will receive good because I do see sunbeams in the future um, if you've done good you'll get it back threefold there will be plenty of people to support you don't forget you're not alone don't shy away to ask for help don't shy away for asking for help and I also see a face somebody with long hair I think it's a lady I think it's a lady listen it could be you um, you're in the midst and I also see like a clover four leaves north west south and east um, that could be the angels because the angels the, the long hair could also be the wings of an angel there is an angel around you and you can ask them for love and I think it is angel jovial because gold is near yellow so open your solar plex and open um, your heart to receive love and abundance you might be very sensitive because you are a water sign um, like Pisces and Scorpio um, with this Mercury retrograde don't start anything new until after the 14th uh, some people uh, some astrologers say the 14th and some say that Mercury is already going retrograde around the 10th and I'm taping this on the 8th so you might still feel very sensitive if you start something new contracts promotions um, then have the contract uh, looked at by professionals so that you do not fall back into old habits of making a mistake protect yourself listen to your intuition okay don't push too hard it will come to you there is a new beginning okay I'm going to leave it there and now I'm going on to the cards um, cancer I'm I have to move the other decks otherwise I won't have the room 
Okay, this is the Enchanted Tarot, and I'll be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, one card for set for the weekend. Okay, let's have a look. They're very big cards, but I love them, and it's now I never knew it existed. It is the Women's Day, Na International Women's Day, recognition for the ladies and the femininity of our selves and even the men and this deck is dedicated to the men you can see the men aren't there you can either masked the kings aren't there but you are full of you've got swords the queen of swords the knight of swords and you've got the seven of ones the seven of ones And you've got the page of once. There's a lot of fire coming out this week. And the date is for from the 9th till the uh, 15th of uh, March. And you've got judgment underneath the deck. And we're going to use our quirky Lenemann. I call it Lenemann, but Monica calls it an oracle. And they're really beautiful. They're so simple, but sometimes simpleness is the most difficult thing. Just remember that you've got the rider, then you've got the anchor. We'll get into the cards, then you've got the scythe. Okay, the moon. Okay, that's your card. No, 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 it's Pisces. And then you've got the key underneath the deck. So let's have a look. First of all, we're going to start off on Monday, and it is the Queen of Swords. Perhaps you know a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarian, and you might meet up with her on Monday. She might give help you get clarity about something. She's a lot of readers say that she's the Ice Queen and she's the Widow. Well, I'm sorry, I'm a Gemini and I'm not a Widow. <laughs> and I'm definitely not an Ice Queen. I'm over-emotional if you ask me. But the she has to have her emotions under control so she can communicate with her wisdom and with clarity and with um, honesty. And she also stands for justice. So this might be a, a friend that you're meeting, uh, or it might be a mother or an aunt. Um, she might even come to visit you, as you have the rider, and that's a ginormous spider with a little insect on its back. <laughs> it looks like an ant. I love the humor. If you like the Adams family, you love this deck. Okay, so the rider means receiving news. You might have a, a visitor and that could be a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarium. It could also be that you are going to visit them. That is on Monday. Something you she will help you get clarity because she uses her sword to cut straight through to the core and get the honesty, the clarity, if something is not clear. Okay? It could be an advisor, a social worker, a doctor, um and it could be a female, but it could also be a man with a nurturing sight, the feminine sight. And here we've got the knight, the knight of sorts. You might get official news. This could be about a study. This could be about law. Have you had a parking ticket and you didn't agree with it? Then, and you, uh, and you complained about it? Then you will get news about it justice will be done you will get what you uh, what you deserve and so will they if it is a judicial situation and um, you might again meet uh, a Gemini Libra or an Aquarium this news could come through email this news could be um, through telephone or text message and you've got the anchor 
and the anchor means yes. Now look at the octopus. He's holding onto the anchor. Well, that is very well depicted, because when you sling your anchor, it is there to stay until you lift it up. But you're holding on. You're holding on to the place that you are at at the moment. And you feel as if you're coming home to a safe haven. You feel safe where you are. You're not budging. You're not moving. Even if you have to defend yourself, like I said, it might be uh, official or judicial, judicial news. You feel that you need to defend yourself. That is what the Seven of Wands means. And you've used your wisdom. The owl is there to defend yourself. You are strong enough to defend yourself. You can stand your ground. For example, if you've bought a house, you will get official news that it is yours. It will be in black and white. There is also a new beginning. You've got the scythe, so you are starting a new path. You're cutting with the BS, and like I said, she will cut straight through and get help you to get clarity, to get it all legally done. You've gained knowledge because you're also going to harvest. For example, you've already gained knowledge and life ex experience. You've already um, gained wisdom and life experience, like I was saying. But you might be harvesting something else as well. You might be harvesting, like, like I said, um, money. You could be harvesting money as or uh, because this is judicial. So if you are in a judicial situation, you've used your wisdom to defend yourself and you will be put into that position that you, if it is d a damage claim, that you will receive money. Um, you will receive uh, clarity and the honesty um, you will receive a yes so you are in your right wow okay okay then on at the weekend you've got the page of ones so the page of ones is also news pages and nights bring you news this could be news about work, something, an action, an action that you've taken, perhaps your defense. Okay, you will re receive news and this will be swift news. Now, when it is a night, then you have to react promptly with the page. I would also suggest if you get this news, especially if it's regarding the legal system or officiality, take the prompt action. This news could come from a Sagittarius, Aries, or a, no, sorry, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I was going to say Libra. Something was not clear to you, and the clarity is coming at the weekend. Now I can't pick up. I haven't got any nails. You've got the moon, and somebody might have been wearing a mask and might have been lying. Who knows? And you didn't know about it. You didn't know about it. It could be about a third party. So, something will become clear, because look, you've got the dark side of the moon. Usually it's around the back of the moon, the shadow. But this moon is wearing, and I, th I think that's really nicely depicted. Look. Let your imagination go. So somebody was wearing a mask, wasn't true to you. And um, I have to think of Pinocchio. The nose is growing and he was, he or she was dangling. Could be you, but I don't think so. I think it is somebody that was around you. They've been dangling by a thread and they've been lying. The nose is growing and you have got the clarity now. Definitely. And you might have had to defend yourself. You've cut with the past. It's at number 10, so it's a new beginning. Okay? 
that you are on a new path and you will have success because the answer is also yes and clarity will prevail and justice you are in the spotlight because the moon the star and the sun are spotlights and they do illuminate situations and issues and when something is illuminated then you have to do more research but you're getting this news you will be getting clarity and it could be about a third party or somebody has been lying to you keep on following the light on your path because the moon shows you the way because it gives you light on your path just keep on following that north note and you'll be all right your emotions might be heightened like I already said your emotions might be heightened because of the mercury retrograde so if you are signing contracts then get them checked or um, wait until after mercury retrograde the moon is also you might be meeting a Pisces because moon is represented by Pisces or represents Pisces um, your intuition or your psychic abilities might be uh, heightened as well so you might be hurting about the past but please don't worry there is a new beginning coming okay and cl and you've got a number one here as well the rider somebody new in your life is going to come you're not going to be alone am I going to be al am I not going to be alone will I have somebody in my life yes you will the, it will become clear to you now we've to cup, uh, uh, cup it, uh, round it all off you've got judgment again a new beginning judgment somebody is being judged perhaps it was you and you had to defend yourself you've got a second chance you've got a new beginning look at the Venus rising from the ashes you are in the spotlight like the Venus and at the bottom of this deck we have the key and the key means that you hold the key to open up doors to positivity to clarity and you can close the door to negativity and negative people which you've done most probably or a situation you've cut with the past the past could be 10 seconds ago even one second ago time does not come back okay time is man-made it comes once and it goes now I'm going to um, get the other two cards uh, from Archangel Metatron and the Angel Feather card and I will start off with the Angel Feather card okay we'll take that one and you've got the Red Angel Feather card take action now boom there you go you're ready for action like I said with the page of wands when in the news comes in take action the angels advise you that a project or an idea that you have been working on is finally nearing the point of trans, trans transformation there you go you found out you, something has become clear to you and you're ready to take action red is also the a chakra color for grounding you are you are grounded now you can wear red you can eat red fruit and you can also meditate on red and that is Archangel Uriel so if you need help then call upon Archangel Uriel or Metatron let's see what card Metatron has for you cancer let's have a look what Archangel Metatron has for you and you have orange 24 24 becomes a 6 so that means balance connection and attunement go within indeed ground yourself wow that is amazing 
I hope you have enjoyed this reading, especially your crystal ball. It does come back. It does come back. Listen to it and replay it. Okay. Like in the crystal ball, if I can remember correctly, because usually I forget what I say, there was sadness. There was sadness. Now I can relate to this. Uh, something was not clear to you. Boom, the moon. You find found things out. Something has become clear. You've asked help. You might have seeked legal help. And the news is the honest. The truth is coming out. The truth always does come out. You are receiving news big time. You can start again. You're getting a second chance, okay, or a new beginning. You are the phoenix rising from the ashes. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and you've got the key in your own hand. You're in your strength. Okay, my dear Cantor, please like the video and share with family and friends. Uh, I do appreciate it and if you're not a member please hit that subscription button if you don't want to be um, in uh, notified then don't hit the bell okay take care be blessed and I hope to see you in the life and if not in the next video there is also a video with updates and news what is going to happen within the next few weeks new things and exciting things. Take care and be blessed.